So you want the short answer? You could save up to tens of dollars, maybe a hundred dollars this winter, for twenty dollars in supplies. After lots of scouring the internet and videos about overcomplicated window coverings, I found that caulking around the installation of the window along with bubble wrap cleaning is the most effective solution. Things like sheet window plastic do not insulate well from temperature exchange or conduction, but it does prevent air exchange or convection. It can dramatically increase your heating bill if you are constantly having to heat fresh cold air from the outside. However, I would speculate most air exchange could be taken care of by caulking, leaving little point to use temporary plastic sheeting. Let's go over the steps for the bubble wrap segment, then there will be more information afterward. Step number one is to measure your windows. Multiply the width and the height of each pane and add them so you know how many square feet of bubble wrap you need. Step number two, get your supplies, scissors, yardstick, bubble wrap with large bubbles, a marker, a spray bottle of water with one drop of soap shaken up. Now if possible, use bubble wrap that is not perforated so it will have more inflated bubbles. However, I've not been able to find this. Do make sure to use the bubble wrap with the larger bubbles. Step number three, clean your windows. The solution with one drop of soap will still cut residue and clean windows. And as a side note, it's actually one of the only things recommended to clean plexiglass with. Step four is to roll the bubble wrap out and mark on one side where you are going to make the cuts. Now you can make the cuts ever so slightly smaller than the window pane. You don't need to draw a line because you can just cut along the same place in the pattern of bubbles. Step five is to apply good water sprays over the entire strip of window. Then place the bubble wrap on the window. A lot of people, a lot of people have vinyl window clings, and overall, it's not even worth doing those. That's because some of them won't even stick, and also it would be effectively a technique to make the vinyl window clings come off easier. An occlusive treatment of water is actually the best tip to take them off. I'd forgotten about that and applied it to this window. We will go ahead and call it worth it for the risk because it's a single pane. It's fine so far. Step five is to think about leaving the window blinds open. So the majority of the sunlight that would come through the windows and bubble wrap would be just reflected off white blinds or a lighter color back of the curtain. Now. You are going to want to leave those blinds raised up or open and open any curtains with lighter backs. The bubble wrap creates a good privacy shade, but in some rooms if more privacy is needed, you can hang a dark fabric behind the curtains. The color black is going to absorb about 90% of the light that hits it. It will turn into other forms of energy, primarily heat, which has a long wavelength and cannot escape back through the window, much like greenhouse gases. So some additional information, bubble wrap is going to have a big effect on single pane windows. I've seen it reported as much as 50% of an R value. It's going to have a good effect on double pane windows. I've seen it reported as 20%. But it's been said that it may have almost no effect on triple pane windows. Unlike plastic sheeting, it's going to be easy to take down and put back up every year. It seems recommendable that you would take it down in the summer or spring because it's going to break down and leave plastic decayed bits stuck very tightly to your windows that would have to be removed with a razor blade scraper. 
Also, it's worth noting if there's not air in the bubble, it's because of it being broken down. It's not going to be effective anymore. On older windows, I've used plastic sheeting, and you can see it filling with air like the cell of a ship. With air exchange, think about air changes per hour. Small leaks around windows, and even more likely door frames, can make a huge difference on your heating bill. For air exchange or convection, professionals will actually test for leaks by increasing the air pressure to 50 pascals. But before you do all that, it's best to just wait for a cold night or a night with a big te temperature differential and fill around the spaces. The trick with the incense and the bathroom vents does not work. You're gonna to wanna to check around the installation of the window. Not so much the sash, which is the moving part, or the joints. This is because modern windows have standards and there's not really gonna be a lot of air leakage. So that's about it. Thank you for adjusting your heating bill with me and hacking the environment. Subscribe so we can hack it a little bit more.